Game devs, welcome back to the channel. How many forks of Godot are there really? Well, as it turns out, quite a lot. But today I want to take a look at the one that everyone's talking about, Redo. Is it just a trend or does it offer unique features that set it apart from the others? Let's take a look. Now in this video, I'm not going to be focusing on the recent drama. Instead, I want to take a look at Redo and what it offers. But first, what is a fork? To help me answer this question, I went over to the Godot forums. And I think that Tibbersus broke it down pretty well when he said that a fork is basically a modified version of someone else's open source work. And Mr. Bigley added that we should keep in mind that any fork of Godot will include the fundamental problems that Godot suffers from. He also went on to say that any fork will also require massive rewriting to resolve these problems. Now, I think that I agree with this take, but that's just my opinion. I recently got a comment on my last video from atre.engine that stated, we intend to keep parity with Godot for as long as possible while implementing some long wanted community features. I won't go into the further remarks of this comment as it's not the focus of this video. So let's move on. It only takes a quick Google search and you can get to the Redot GitHub page. At the time of making this video, you can find the source code if you'd like to compile the engine yourself. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, we can see that they have updated the README to show the relevant information of Redo. There's a brief introduction to the Redo engine and a little of its history. Scrolling down further will reveal some more useful links, like where to get the engine, community and contributing, and where to find the documentation and demos. Let's take a look at the Redo website by clicking on the link to the Redo engine. Everything seems to be progressing nicely. In my opinion, the Redo site assumes its own identity. It has a growing community as well. It was all very interesting. You can check it out if you have some time. There's a wealth of useful information here. I will leave a link to it in the description. I won't get into all the details of the site now, but what I want to do is download Redo and take a look. Click on the download button and scroll down to assets. Since I am on Windows, I will use the Windows 64 zip. Once you've downloaded it, simply unzip it and if you're familiar with Godot, the rest will be the same. Click on the Redo icon without the console to open Redo. Now everything looks similar to Godot, just in a different color scheme. In the settings, we can change the language, the interface theme, Display Scale, Network, Mode, and Directory Naming Convention. If we click on the Redo engine, we get access to a lot of information regarding the engine itself. Let's create a new project and see how it works. Now everything looks similar to Godot, just in a different color scheme. This is because Redo is just a fork of Godot at the moment, and there's not a whole lot going on that's different. I think that this version is based on version 4.4.dev of Godot, but if I'm wrong you can correct me in the comments. All the basic features like the online docs do work, and it takes you to the Redot docs. Now, this is the latest unstable version of the documentation, which may document features that are not available or compatible with the released stable versions of Redo. But I guess this is to be expected because it's still very early in the project. Where we go from here is really up to the contributors and devs working on this fork and you, if you choose to use it. In the end, I think that it's a win for everybody if Godot actually continues to improve. On the site, there's a link to their Discord server. And on there you can see the progress and share in the discussion. There's even discussion of having a game jam. And you can vote on the team for the jam now, at the time of making this video. And if you wanted to give it a try, this would be a great way to jump in. I think that Shaolin Dave a commenter on my last video said it best. There is no reason why we can't use both. Ultimately though, I believe that Redo and Godot engines are tools in our toolbox of game dev stuff. 
And like any tool, it's what we do as a community with it that matters most. If we can keep focus on creating great games, I think that we'll all come out ahead. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video or have thoughts, drop them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Keep creating and not distracting, and I'll see you in the next one.